Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargard.com. In this video we are going to look at how to highlight the names that occur three or more times within that list. So Excel provides a few ways to identify duplicate values in in Excel. You know they provide a conditional formatting rule already to highlight duplicate values. They provide features to remove duplicates, the button on data that can remove duplicates, and so on. But in this example, we're imagining that we don't, we're not necessarily interested interest in a duplicate. We don't want to know if it occurs at least one more time. We want to know if it's three times or more. So it's a slightly more unique condition that we want to create. And we're going to use the count if function to achieve this. And we're going to combine this with conditional formatting because my ultimate goal is to identify those individuals so to highlight them out within this list really so first of all I'm going to highlight the list A2 to A13 they are the list of names and open up my conditional formatting uh, feature and I'm going to go for new rule because we are going to have to create a formula uh, to achieve this it's not one of their standard settings in the top half of this dialog, we can choose use a formula to determine the cells to format, and we're going to have to start to write our formula. Now, as mentioned, I'm going to use the countif function. This is all part of our, our video series here on alternative reasons to use countif. So we're going to use the countif function. Now, when you type in a function inside a feature like this, you don't get any assistance with what they're asking. So we have to recall our knowledge of count if here and the first question will be the range of cells so I'm going to provide that that's A2 to A13 that's the range I'm testing I'll put in a comma and it will want to know what I want to test within that range and I'll test in A2 the name of the first individual but I'll keep that reference relative as opposed to this fixed or absolute reference so it will move and check every name in turn. Notice that Justin's name is highlighted in white. It's an, the active cell, as they say, that is going to move relatively for each name in the list. Close in bracket. And then the test is whether that name is greater than or equals three times in the number of occurrences. It tells us above here that it's going to format the values if it equals true. So there will be a logical test involved there for that to happen, really. So count if, how many times, is it three or more? Obviously, that could be adapted for any number you need, should it be different, like five or more or six or more. I can provide some formatting. I am going for a nice yellow and some bold text and stuff here. <laughs> and I'll OK my way out. And as I do that, any name that I put... Oh, not too sure in that colour. And you know that appears three or more times, uh, such as them two individuals really there, is now highlighted. So that I can always now start to filter those out or, or some other technique to, to kind of work with that list now and achieve what I need to achieve in it. I hope you find this video tutorial useful. Please check out some of our videos on our YouTube channel or at computergargar.com.